This is a very special episode of Where Are They Now? Diana and I met at the end of 2020, and then you did your first Wednesday Wins in February of 2021, which was shortly after you finished the breakthrough. So you have now been doing the work with me for just a little over two years, maybe two and a half years. We always talk about how like reaching the two-year anniversary is such a huge milestone. So I'd love to just talk about you know, that journey of the middle part that nobody talks about. I think I would love for you to share a little bit about that. So Diana, would you kind of pick us up a little bit and tell us, you know, a little bit about like where you were at, like maybe after you graduated and how you were feeling really good. And then you came into the practice and then like, what was kind of like that journey from like your first retreat, maybe to the second one, that's when you really, really let go. And then you have just been on fire ever since. I feel like BT was like, when you're learning all this information, I was like, oh, this is so exciting. I feel like I'm learning so much and all these light bulb moments. But then I feel like once I joined the practice, a lot of the vibe of the practice kind of triggered my armor that I usually have. Very achievement focused. The older sister, the responsible, like always have my things together, have things figured out. Like I don't need any help kind of thing. All of those just came up. And I feel like that's where I started to feel just the hardening and the armor come come in and the fear of Mm. like letting those go. I feel like I have to be this like tough person that doesn't need anyone. And you're like, you are not that. <laughs> you are soft and squishy fish guts because I'm a Pisces. And then my reaction to that was like, I don't like it. But then we went into the circle where you had everyone mirror back to me, like what they see in me. Everything just they described, they were saying the word soft, but the way they were describing it was with so much love and how much they loved that about me that by the end of the circle, I remember I literally said like, oh, I guess soft is good. Well, before I thought soft means weakness. And that's why I don't want to be soft. Um, I want to be tough and strong. <laughs> and, and but then just hearing what everyone was saying and how much love they had for me and for my softness helped me to be more open to it. So that made me explore that a lot more of like, what what do I think str- strength means? And mm. what what is my fear of weakness around? And just like explore that because that was the the huge takeaway. And then I got started getting called like fish guts is my nickname. <laughs> and then from there, my next year, which was this past year, part of it was still feeling scared of like letting go of everything and like really, really connecting and loving because I've grown up feeling so alone. I didn't know what community really means. And I didn't really know how to 100% trust fall. Joining this group, I mean, they like me and I like them, but do they really, really like me? Because again, I had the limiting beliefs that like, I'm not very interesting. People don't really care too much or like, yeah, I just need to stay small kind of thing. And just like be around here, but not take up too much space. So it's just like that. That's just like an opening up thing where like, I'm not really opening up. I wasn't trust falling. Then we had the meditation challenge. And then meditation challenge, I was like really feeling the love. I remember one of the lessons from the meditation was I felt more centered and grounded internally. I remember that meditation challenge because we were meditating throughout the day. I was like, oh, I feel like very calm and centered throughout the day for the first time in my life. So I was like squishing and then everyone was like loving it. And that was one of the moments where I was like, I'm getting like so much attention, but I'm not doing anything. And that was a very like, this is kind of like crazy. (laughs) You were were like mind blown by that. I remember you're like, I'm not doing anything. It's like, exactly, Diana. We just (laughs) love you. I mean, I still feel kind of mind blown sometimes by it. Just like I mean, it was so much attention and I was like, this is all I've wanted is just people to notice and love me and all these things. And like, it's all happening, but like zero effort from me. Like I'm just living. The meditation challenge that Diana's talking about was a challenge that we did to count down to the Tulum retreat in October. I think you were already starting to really open up. And this was when your company announced that they would be doing layoffs and yeah. you started to feel stressed out about that. That was like a week or two before Tulum. Yeah. And I remember that morning because they told us when they will send out the emails. Yeah. And I woke up, I think like 5 a.m. that day and just 
decided to check and I was laid off, which part of me was like kind of hoping for and part of me was kind of not. And I messaged you after I saw it and told you like I got laid off and you validated like, oh, like I'm so sorry. And then, but then you also like validated that like, I'll be fine. Like I'll, I'll be okay. And then I had already signed up for like a meditation and workout that morning. So I went to those and then you asked me like how I'm feeling. So I shared about it with the group, got a lot of love and I was able to like share both like my fears, but then because I was being seen and held by the community in that moment I felt better and literally within the same day I felt like it's going to be fine I'll deal with it after Tulum then going into Tulum feeling the love and then what led to my hot seat just telling like saying out loud what was coming up for me in that moment when I was feeling the fears especially because these are feelings that I had suppressed so long it literally like physically hurt and you were like I, I feel you like going in but then like pulling back like keep going and I was like but it hurts and and then you and then you were able to like share that because it's been buried like when it comes out it's going to like hurt on the way but once you, you take that out it's going to feel better I don't remember how long that hot seat was but I really felt like I just trust fell yeah. in all layers of my body thank you for sharing that Diane I think that was such a play-by-play -play of like you know, what it actually looks, thinks, sounds, feels like. And, you know, I think that was such a beautiful, like, lesson for us. How did you become Queen Squish? And all that means is how did you let go so much that you could just let yourself be so loving and also so receiving? Not only are you so loving and soft to us, but you also let it come to you. You've just unlocked so much levels of like love and you're only gonna keep going. You just keep on leveling up in that. And it's because of this, y'all. So if you're wondering how she did it, this is how she did it.